first of all, uh, we're going to go on to the Suntory Whiskey Standard Blended Japanese Whiskey. And this is known as the Kakubin, I believe. Get that poured into a hidden Glencairn glass with a label on it, which I won't show directly. Here we go. Now, I'm going to review that in earnest another day. But I want to just have a little bit of fun with these. So that's the Kakubin from Suntory. And then I've got this bottle of Tori's Extra 40% ABV. And uh, this is again from my friend Sehun. Sehun, thanks again. And I will also do a full review of this one before long. Let's get that one poured. Hope you didn't see that label. Oh well. There we go. Hmm. All right. So first of all, with the uh, blended Suntory whiskey, the standard blend. Now, interestingly, I can still smell the Yamazaki in there. And I also smell a little bit more peat. And this peat is coming from Hakushu. And there is some big vanilla, just lightness, light vanilla deliciousness in there. And I guess that would be uh, the Chita that's in there from the Chita uh, grain distillery. Pretty complex nose for a very inexpensive bottle. This one is about 40, 35 something here in Korea. That is about the same price as um, <clears throat> a full bottle of something like Famous Grouse. A little bit of a taste. Mm hmm. Interestingly, it's got a spiciness to it that would make me want to tell you this is a Canadian whiskey. Interesting, isn't that interesting? I'm guessing that's from the Chita distillery. Now, is a bit of wheat used in this? Is it just corn? I wonder. Could be some wheat. I don't think any rye. But maybe a bit of a wheat mixed in with that corn mash. Mmm. It seems kind of like a... a medium rye bourbon mixed in with your Yamazaki and Hakushu, giving a little bit of smokiness and a little bit of spice. Boy, you don't, you do not get that in uh, the standard bottlings. And um, a lot of people kind of diss this bottle. And I think, boy, you know what? It's well made. It's great stuff. It's, um, uh, it's as good as a let's say a 12 year old Canadian whiskey. All right, now let's check out this other one here. This is Suntory's Tories. So Tories from Suntory, remember Tori is the name of the founder, Shinjiro Tori. And that's him right there. He's enjoying this uh, uh, whiskey review with me. Oh, I poured that one already. All right, I'm gonna hold on to it though, so you know what I'm drinking. All right, on to the nose here. Much, much subtler than uh, the nose of the Kakubin, the square bottle, standard Suntory blended uh, Japanese. A little bit more spice content though. 
little bit less vanilla. Hmm, I'm gonna clear my palette here. Mm-hmm, a little bit spicier. Oh, okay, let's check that out now. This is uh, this one right here. Tories from Suntory. Mm-hmm. Now you're talking about something like a high rye bourbon. Isn't that nice? Hmm. Now I'm not tasting a whole lot of mm, Yamazaki or Hakushu in there. Um, and well, this doesn't actually say. Neither of these say that they are blended, blended, blended uh, Japanese whiskeys. So that's the kakubin, uh, kakubin, kakubin in in uh, Korean. It's written back there. Kakubin would be the English pronunciation. Kakubin. So kakubin in Korean. Kakubin. That's hard to say. And center, you know, it doesn't really say that it's blended. Boy, oh boy, are these blended or are these actually um, kind of like single grain? I would wonder. I think I can smell a little bit of Yamazaki. Yes, I can. In the uh, kak uh, Kakubin. So kakubin or kakubin, however you want to say that, uh, I can smell some Yamazaki in there. But it's pretty minimal. And uh, in the Tories, I really can't smell much of it. But again, very long finish. Yeah, this is like a high rye bourbon. Oh, very nice. All right, now we're going to do one more thing. Uh, don't go away. I'll be right back. And I'm going to edit, edit that up to make it shorter. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Now then, I'm going to make two highballs and see how they compare. The first one is going to be with the uh, uh, kakubin. I'm going to put a little bit more in there because I think I need a little more than that. There we go. And a little bit more of Tories. Well, I guess this, this whiskey would go over pretty well in Canada and uh, the UK, at least for a certain part of the population, wouldn't it, being called Tories? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So, first of all, is that enough? I think that's not enough. Hang on a sec here. I don't want to make a, a light highball. I like my highballs pretty strong. There we go. And let me just clear off a little bit of this stuff here. I am going to take down the boxes. That's what I'll do. There. 
All right, so got the Yamazaki there, the Yamazaki here. This one doesn't need to be around anymore. That's my blend there. All right, so I've got a Guinness glass with some ice and a Grolsch glass with some ice. I need to buy some highball glasses, I tell you. Okay, we're gonna put the uh, Kakubin Kakubin into the Guinness glass. And get that out of the way. We'll put the Tories into the Grolsch glass. All right, and we're going to stir them up a little bit. Pardon the sound. I think I'll just spin it with my hands. Okay, it looks like it's getting pretty cold. Some condensation on the outside there, and this one. <laughs> All right, that should be good. Getting there. Okay, there's the condensation. Good. Okay, and then we're gonna add some nice soda water, club soda. And we're gonna go about like so, about like so. This one obviously needs a little bit more to be the same volume. Okay. And then we do a gentle roll through here get that mixed up okay so that's one of the tricks with making a highball once you've got your soda in there you don't want to agitate it too much to kill all of the um, uh, the fizz all right so the first um, and probably the most popular Japanese highball is going to be made with this uh, kakubin from the Suntory whiskey. That's the standard blended Japanese whiskey here. All right, so there it is. And you can still smell, especially you can smell the Yamazaki coming through on the nose, even, even though you've made it into a highball. Now, I don't like lemon in my highballs. You might like that. You can go ahead and try it. Not for me. Mmm. Highball perfection. It's like a vanilla Italian soda with a little bit of spice added and a little bit of uh, kick. Great. Okay, how about the Tories? I can't smell a thing here. Virtually no scent at all. So that might be nice for some people who, you know, aren't big on whiskey. How about the taste? It's kind of like a very, very mild cream soda. Boy, maybe that needs just a little bit more. See if that helps. That's really, really mild. So I have a feeling this Tories might be mostly um, single grain from Cheetah. No, I still can't smell a thing here. 
but a really nice sweet again kind of a cream soda flavor vanilla a little bit of generic fruit not much spice coming through Maybe just a hint of ginger in there. <clears throat> yeah, I can still smell the kaku bean here, the Yamazaki coming through. Hmm. Well, let me try just to kick that up a little notch here. Kick it up a notch. What was that? Maybe another... Mm. Oof. That was a close one. Oh my god. Did I just crack that? Nope. Luck is on my side. It just gets a little bit sweeter here with a little bit more... Uh, Suntory standard blended uh, whiskey added. But I can definitely taste the Yamazaki in this one. Now, um, <clears throat> what do I think of these? These are great. These are great blended whiskeys. Um, uh, this one tastes like. Um, um, a fairly let's call it a medium rye bourbon and this one tastes like a high rye bourbon and that could be wheat it could be wheat in fact it might not actually be rye so they might they might be adding um corn and wheat and a little bit of malted barley in their mash um you know i'm not quite sure but very nice products if i had to choose one i would probably say that i would like this one for the summer for highballs, it makes a kick-ass highball. <clears throat> so nice. And uh, this one I would like probably to drink neat and uh, to drink in the winter. And it's got a really nice spice component. <clears throat> and uh, that's that wheat or, you know, possibly rye. I think it's wheat uh, coming through in the mash. And uh, again, to me, this tastes probably like about 90% um, grain whiskey. I'm not quite sure, but that's my guess. Very nice stuff. Uh, good job, Mr. Shinjiro Tori. Nice work. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, that was pretty long. I'm going I'm to try to edit that to get it down to the right length. And don't forget to subscribe. You can do that right over here. Okay, make sure you subscribe. And uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook page, at Whiskey Whistle. Find me, and I'll see you for the next one. That's going to be... What? Number 200? Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's right. We'll see you next time. What? That's right, it's finished. Yes, this is an end credit scene. <laughs> well, I forgot to actually add the uh, Yamazaki into the uh, highball. So we're going to do that right away. Cool down that Yamazaki. This is a mix of the distillery only uh, bottling plus the distiller's reserve. And we've got it pretty cold now. It's uh, fogging up the glass. Oh, you really get the oak with ice coming from the Yamazaki with uh, with ice added. Oh, yes. Hmm. See, and I, I could kind of smell that in the, the uh, Kakubin 
um, the this one. I can kind of smell the Yamazaki in this one uh, on top of ice. Okay, let's just pour that right in there. No need to add the ice. Give it a quick stir. Oh, see, now I can smell that um, Yamazaki effect going on here. Now it's pretty much um, highball excellence. It still tastes like whiskey. Um, I'm getting a little bit of um, uh, the malt, <clears throat> a little bit of kind of a chocolate flavor. The vanilla is really singing here. A um, bit of ginger, a little bit of that, uh, that savory herbal note that I noticed in both of the Yamazakis. Hmm. Great stuff. So that's a Suntory blended Japanese whiskey highball with a little bit of Yamazaki added in uh, as an extra finishing agent for the highball. Very nice. Bye. Makusan, motto no more. Santori Yamazaki Shinguru Morto.